episode of Midwest Whitetail, The Heartland Show. I'm out uh, here on Kane's farm tonight, hunting uh, one particular buck we call Big Show. Just kind of came in this year, don't really have any history with him. Um, reason I'm a little bit late in the interview, I, uh, as I was setting up, I had Big Show at 10 yards with my bow on the ground. So, you can about imagine how that went. Welcome to the hunt of uh, November 11, 2020, here in the afternoon. So, uh, you know, I think a lot of the bucks from trail camera and just knowing the time of the year, either with a doe or just coming off a doe, and I think a lot of the time is spent in the timber. Uh, you know, I opted to come in here to this Strider set in my South Timber. Um, we're here for Strider. I got pictures of him in here a couple days ago. Brad's got his bow in the tree, and there's a pile of other good bucks in here that Brad wants to shoot. Um, it's not necessarily deer that I wouldn't shoot, but just being that I have one, one tagged already, I'm going to hold out for Shredder only. Um, and you know, a couple other older bucks, and just kind of turn Brad loose on the rest of them so we can get him on the deer. But going to settle in, and hopefully, uh, hopefully we can make it happen again. of good light left outside the timber but we're popped inside the timber with camera light so we're going to slip out of here now but uh we're going to leave everything in the tree uh, we're just going to take the cameras out but bows uh everything else is staying set and we're just going to slip right in here tomorrow morning wind's supposed to be as uh, be a southerly wind tomorrow morning so it should be perfect so hopefully by leaving stuff in here we can slip in here and uh be set up quiet and be right back in the game in the morning for me in here and Brad Brad's got the rest of the field so hopefully we can fill some tags this morning northeast 
straight off your head, right in front of you. Doe just came in. I don't see anything behind her yet. Yo, you did it, dude. Brad. Oh, that is awesome. Let's go, man. You smoked him. Five yards, dude. Let's go. I'm so glad. Dude. I'm so happy That's for you, awesome. bro. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, where did he come from? <laughs> The one buck I wanted to kill this year, and I killed him at five yards. 
on an opposite side of the whole farm. Oh, I'm shaking like I just <laughs> shot that deer, dude. Let's go. That's, oh, I'm so happy for you, man. Dude, he's so close that I couldn't get his whole body in the frame because he's right here. Dude. <laughs> Brad just smoked a big show, dude. He's dead right here. Brad did. He's dead right here, dude. We switched in the tree. Brad shot him at five yards, bro. <laughs> Let's go. He's, I didn't, couldn't get him on camera, like, but he's dead. We, we watched him drop. Just, I mean, he, he only went 40 yards. All right, we're at the Arrow now. Got all the guys together, like we mentioned earlier. We got uh, Josh and Hunter in town. So uh, we're gonna get on the blood trail here. We don't really need the blood trail, but uh, we're gonna follow it anyway. Just, you can always learn something from a blood trail. So we'll grab my arrow here and uh, start heading over. He's only about 50 yards away. There he is. That is Big Show. God, he's awesome. I've been almost this close before. But uh, yeah, he's been giving me a headache, but I've stayed after it, so it all pays off. First time this deer's uh, been on the south side of the farm this year. We've been mainly hunting him on the north, but now I've got my hands on him. All right, well, we got this uh, buck drug out of the timber, tagged him and drug out here, and uh, getting a better look at him. He's, he's a beautiful deer. Uh, Kane wanted to touch a little bit more on kind of how we targeted this section of the rut here. Yeah, so uh, typically in the past, you've probably, if you notice on the show, we hit it pretty hard the 30th through the 8th, kind of that pre rut into the peak there, peak breeding. And, um, you know, that, that's, I mean, I've, we've done it that way for years, and mm -hmm. I was looking at the calendar this year and just going through old trail cam pictures, and uh, I, one thing that jumped out clear as day going back just the last three years on trail cam pictures on the cuttybacks is, um, you know, these these deer, the most daylight active, my mature bucks are the most daylight active the 10th through the 15th. I mean, there was, the pattern was there. Um, and so I, I called Brad and I said, I told him he had, you know, we were trying to get everything planned about a month ago, and I said, you know, I might be crazy and we might regret it, but I, I really want to target that stretch a little later this year. And sure enough, today on the 12th, uh, all that, that intel that we had on the cuttybacks and the cameras just came through and, uh, and paid off in a big way. So um, this is a deer that we started getting pictures of um, back in, he didn't show up till probably early October this year. Um, and once he showed up, he was real active. But uh, when he showed up on the cutty links, he's always been on the north side of my farm. Um, we've never seen him anywhere else. And you know, Brad's touched on that in the past. Uh, we talked about it this morning. Um, you know, not a deer we expected to see this morning as we were hunting the south side of the farm. So um, my point with that is, I think that is kind of a testament of us, you know, targeting this, you know, middle to later stretch of the rut um, when these bucks. Uh, like I said, are starting to look for crews a little harder, be a little more reckless looking for the, the next doe or the, even the last doe in their mind. So um, paid off in a big way. Couldn't be happier for Brad. Um, Brad's been filming me now for five years, and, you know, <laughs> he's, he's definitely not getting paid enough to do as much work as he does. So uh, for this one means a lot for me to, to be yep, there does me to too. on film. And he definitely earned this deer, you know, a million times over again. So and couldn't be more pumped that just this was the specific deer to come in on him this morning since he had a little bit of history going with it. So uh, really happy for you, man. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, November 12th will definitely be a day to remember forever. It uh, worked out great this morning. I love it when a plan comes together. Good afternoon. It's November 17, third day of the opener here in Michigan. And uh, Logan and my first time out we're gonna see if we can't get him a deer. We're sitting in a little swale, and then we got a cornfield around us and a big bedding area in front. So typically the deer come out of that nice bedding area, feeding into the corn. So we're gonna to try to catch him tonight. Anything's on the table, buck, doe, you name it, we're after it.
get him? Yep. What's going on there? All right, it is five o'clock. We've got maybe an hour to go. And uh, we've had three bucks and well, maybe five or six dough. So we almost got a bead on one of the bucks earlier, but uh, he just, he was kind of frontal and not the best at angle. So we elected to wait and then uh, he went in the woods and then we just had that big mature doe with a couple fawns come, man, probably 20 yards away and end up winding us eventually. But Logan wanted to hold out for a buck. So we got an hour left. Hopefully uh, one of those bucks comes back or a different one. But it's been a great evening. It's windy. Northwest wind, maybe 14, 15 mile an hour. So we can talk and move around without a problem, which is nice. three-point just came out and Logan shot and uh, we weren't sure if he hit him or not so we uh, reviewed the footage and it looked like a really good hit so what you thinking Logan um I'm shaking all over <laughs> adrenaline's kicking in so from at least from how it looked it looked like he put a really good shot that deer was only maybe 60 70 yards away so pretty exciting could be Logan's first buck Number 17 here in Michigan. All right. Tell us your story. So we were sitting for maybe hour, hour and a half. Got some action, three bucks. Came out around the, around the um, hour, hour mark. And then, yeah, they ran off into the woods. Some does falling through then, about half an hour later. He came out again, gave me a shot, and now we're here. Yeah, put a great shot on it. It went maybe 150 yards, but nice three-point. Logan's first buck. Nice job, Logan. <laughs>